Hey everyone, welcome to Be With The T. Now before we get into this tea today, I want to announce the winner of my $50 cash app giveaway. So the winner for my $50 cash app giveaway is Davina Campbell. Thank you, Davina. Congratulations. This is extra money. You could put in your tank, do whatever you want to do with it. However, I do appreciate everyone who has participated, commented, liked, subscribed. I appreciate all you guys. And because I appreciate you guys so much, I'm going to up this cash app giveaway just a bit. So I'm going to do a hundred dollar cash app giveaway starting now so this hundred dollar cash app giveaway will end january 20th again this cash app giveaway will end january 20th so you're going to need to subscribe comment leave your cash app name below and if you would like you could put like your cash app name and put a hundred next to it so i'll know it's for this new cash app giveaway and you're also going to need to like videos so you guys don't forget that it ends January the 20th, okay? Now, let's get into this tea. So Kanye and Kim Kardashian are getting a divorce. I mean, I don't see this being a surprise to anyone. I would say we kind of saw this coming in 2020. You could see things that kind of signified that they were falling apart. Now, if you do not know, Kanye has been living in Wyoming in their $14 million home. And this is where Kim wanted him to be. She did not want to be with him, you guys. She wanted him to stay in Wyoming so that he could live his life and she could live her life. However, during the holidays, Christmas time, he did not spend the holidays with his family. Now, if you guys know, they have four children together, you guys. Aren't they adorable? They are some cutie patooties. So yes, so he did not spend Christmas with the family at all. And he didn't spend it with his kids. So uh, yeah, that's kind of deep for me because you know, those are your children. So you stayed in Wyoming for the holidays, but maybe this is how bad it had gotten between the two. And you guys, we all know Kanye is not the most mentally healthy person ever since his mother died if you've been around like i've been around you notice the change from kanye before his mother died to the kanye after his mother died and we all saw the change once he lost his mother so sources are saying that kim really did everything that she could to help kanye with his mental health I don't know if you guys remember, Kanye was running on at a rally that he did when he was running for president. And he kind of, you could tell he kind of wasn't all the way there. When Harriet Tubman, well, Harriet Tubman never actually freed the slaves. She just had the slaves go work for all the white people. Y'all, we leaving right now. So after this rally, you guys, she actually tried to get him put into a mental hospital to get him the help that he need and he did not want to see her he did not want to be around her he saw her as the enemy so she really has done a lot to try to help Kanye with his mental health however of course people who deal with mental health issues do not always see themselves as having mental health issues Kanye has also been wanting this divorce he has also been fed up with Kim now, I know he did tweet that he was ready for a divorce in 2020, I believe more than one time. And also he said that he could not stand their reality show, Keeping Up With The Kardashians. He said it was unbearable. Now, there has been rumors going around that Kim has been having a little boo thing on the side. You guys, I don't know how true this is. I don't know how accurate this is, but these rumors have been swirling around for a few months and also there were rumors of them getting a divorce early 2021 they were going around at the end of 2020 so we will just have to wait and see if this is true I mean I really wouldn't be surprised Kim is a beautiful woman and I mean who wouldn't want to be with Kim Kardashian just on the strength of who she is so, I mean, I'm sure it's not hard for her to find anyone. 
Now let's move on to this next cup of tea. So Megan the Stallion and Tory Lane saga continues. So yesterday, Tory took it upon himself to post a picture with him and the baby on his page. And the caption read, at the baby and Tory Lane's song visual on the way. Hashtag 2021 umbrella. Drop an umbrella in the comments if you are ready for this. Now, if you guys do not know, Megan has a song getting ready to come out with the baby and it's called Cry Baby. Now, I know you guys have seen on social media the Cry Baby Challenge. So she's getting ready to drop this song with the baby. Now, she did not appreciate the fact that Tory Lanez, all of a sudden, now he has a song coming out with the baby. Now, she took to Twitter and she put laughing emojis, nice try. However, people were trying to come down on the baby, you know, because they didn't appreciate him doing this song with Megan and then all of a sudden he's doing this song with Tory Lanez. Now if you do not know what's going on you guys I'm just gonna say he allegedly shot her in the foot okay. So they have been having this ongoing drama and he's actually gonna have to face a court system and they're gonna determine if he's guilty or not. But her fans did not appreciate the baby doing a song with her and then all of a sudden doing a song with him but she did clear the air she said that ish was old and not cleared crybaby video dropping soon so this was in response to one of her fans saying f the baby all 2021 so she let it be known the baby didn't have nothing to do with this he did this song prior to the crybaby being made and basically Tori is just clout chasing because he knows Megan is getting ready to drop this fire song that everybody has been raving about. But that did not stop Megan's fans from stating how they felt about this whole situation with the baby collabing with Tory Lanez. And they took to Twitter to express that. So this person said, so the baby collabing with Tory Lanez, dude who shot his homegirl. And this person wrote, y'all acting surprised that the baby is working with Tory Lanez like he wasn't punching mm, in the face all summer. Wow. Now, I do believe Tory Lanez was definitely being very petty with this situation. It does seem like he doesn't want Megan to be great. But of course, you guys, she's had a very successful career and climbing. Now, Tory does go back to court on January 20th to see the judge. So we will keep an eye on that and see what transpires from there. But in other news, you guys, I have some great news for Aaliyah fans. So if you are a Aaliyah fan like myself, you know that January 16th is her birthday. So she would have been 42 years old. So, you know, her estate hasn't really been open to collabing with anyone. I believe they did do a Mac collab with her, but that's about all I remember. And that took many, many years for that to even come about. So they have been very private. We can't even enjoy her music like we can Selena or anyone else who we loved and lost. But I believe things are getting ready to change because number one, Aaliyah does have an official Instagram page. Let me say that first. So she does have an Instagram page, which is a big step. Now, the next great thing is Aaliyah has a collab coming up. So Bump Box, who has been endorsed by Trey The Truth, is collabing with Aaliyah. So Aaliyah's estate wrote on Instagram, let's kick off the year of Aaliyah right with the Bump Box collection dropping on january 16th exclusively on bumpbox.com stay tuned more to come now they haven't released how the bump boxes will look or the designs but they have told us to stay tuned and Aaliyah's estate has also put this on their instagram to stay tuned for these bump boxes to be released now they are releasing these bump boxes on her birthday I mean, I couldn't think of a better time than to do this. So I'm really excited about this because it really says a lot about the growth that has happened through the years with her family being more open to having her name on things and just having her memory more so out there. So I'm really excited about that. 
But that is all I have for you guys. Don't forget to leave your comments below and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys later.